Hello, this is Retro Workshop, and here is my unboxing and review of Castlevania Lords of Shadow 2, the limited edition Dracula's Tomb. On screen you can see my set. I got it second hand for a cheap price as always from my local games guy. Of course you can get this for both PS3 and Xbox 360, and I have the PS3 version. It's in very good condition considering, and the game works perfectly and a first thoughts video will be out for the game in the future. I put the disc in and played it for a few minutes just to test it and make sure it works. You can see it's on my shelf at the moment. You get three figures, 10 centimeters tall, a steel case for the game itself, a limited edition art book and the tomb it all comes in. Now it should be clear but I'll say it anyway, the tomb is actually really big since it holds the book. Although the tomb is simply made out of cardboard, it's still good quality and won't be a problem if you look after it. Here is the inside when you first take off the lid and under the first layer of cardboard is the book and then the game is sitting under that and at the bottom under the game slash second board is the three figures set in foam. Also another thing to note, naturally the figures are not to a great standard but that would up the price a lot and for what you get for such a low price even from Amazon for example it's a remarkable box set. The main figure is Victor Belmont, who is a descendant of Gabriel Belmont, who was the main character of the first Lord of Shadow game, and he later became Dracula, I believe. And you play Dracula in Lords of Shadow 2, or at least at the start. And he was also voiced by Robert Carlyle, and the great Patrick Stewart is thrown in there as well. The steel case is great, I love steel case games in general. You also get some DLC codes as well, as you can see on screen. I did install the game as it suggests and it's about 3 gigabytes. And here's the first picture. It takes up the entire top shelf which will be painted black soon. I guess it will become my gothic slash Castlevania display shelf and the other one which is larger will be for FPS. Now just a quick teaser to the first thoughts video as for the game itself. It's absolutely stunning and went above and beyond the first Lords of Shadow game. With its improved graphics not to mention the acting is better it seems. And here is a quick look at some notable pages from the limited edition art book. It's great quality, full colour, hardback and contains around 100 pages. Here is the contents and forward pages. And then we have Dracula and Dracula's throne I believe. The lieutenant there with the figure and Victor with the figure. The toy maker which looks insane. The toy maker's knight. And finally what I can only assume is Dracula's castle. Well, I have been Retro Workshop, and that is all for this unboxing and review of the Tomb Edition for Castlevania Lords of Shadow 2. Thank you.